こんにちは。Welcome to Learn Japanese with Masa 先生。This is episode 114.Today in this episode, we will learn about nominalizer no, which can replace think, time, place, human, and reason. Now let's go! In my last two episodes, we learned about the nominalizer no. Not often gets used for things that have no physical presence, such as an event, idea, fact, or thought. This is similar to the meaning of the Japanese noun koto, which is actually considered a nominalizer as well. So I explained that no and koto are often interchangeable. However, nominalizer no can also replace other things. Meaning of nominalizer no. Change depending on the context because it acts like a placeholder for various words. For example, koto, which is non physical thing, mono, which is no mit, mono, which is material thing, toki, which is time, basho, which is place, hito, which is human, and liyu, which is reason. Now let's make some example sentences. The reason why he was absent from work was because he was sick. So, first of all, reason that he was absent from work. This will be a relative clause. So, inside the relative clause, the structure will be verb, plain form, plus noun. He was absent from work, so it will be. 彼は会社を休みました。Plain form will be 彼は会社を休んだ。And then inside the relative clause, we have to change the particle は into が。So it becomes 彼が会社を休んだ理由。彼が会社を休んだ理由。This means the reason he was absent from work. He was sick. He was not feeling well. This is guai ga warui. Guai ga warui. And then because is kara. Kara. So the full sentence will be Kare ga kaisha o yasunda liyu wa guai ga warui kara des. Kare ga kaisha o yasunda liyu wa guai ga warui kara des. So here we can replace this word, li yu, into no. We can say, Kare ga kaisha o yasunda no wa guai ga warui kara des. Kare ga kaisha o yasunda no wa guai ga warui kara des. So from the context, we can understand that we're talking about the reason why he was absent from work. So this reason, li yu, can be replaced into no. No is also used to turn clauses into nouns to describe material things that have a physical presence. So, material things is mono, mono. We can also replace living things such as people, hito, hito, or animals, doubutsu, doubutsu. So, for example, the person who is over there is Yamamoto san. Over there is asoko, asoko. To exist is imas. And then person is hito. So again, this is a relative clause. The person who is over there will be asoko ni iru hito. Asoko ni iru hito. So the full sentence will be asoko ni iru hito wa yamamoto san desu. Asoko ni iru hito wa yamamoto san desu. So we can replace this hito into no. Asoko ni iru no wa Yamamoto san desu. Asoko ni iru no wa Yamamoto san desu. Because Yamamoto san is a human, from the context we understand that we are talking about the person who is standing there. Therefore, we will replace hito into no. Another example. The cat who is sleeping underneath the chair is tama. Cat is neko, neko. Sleeping is nete imas, nete imas. So plain form will be nete iru. Underneath the chair will be isu no shita, isu no shita. 
So, 椅子の下で寝ている猫。椅子の下で寝ている猫。This is a relative clause. It means the cat who is sleeping underneath the chair. So, the full sentence will be 椅子の下で寝ている猫はたまです。椅子の下で寝ている猫はたまです。So, Tama is a very typical name for cat. So, Tama is a very typical name when you name a cat. So, we can replace this neko into no. Isu no shita de nete iru no wa tama desu. Isu no shita de nete iru no wa tama desu. Now, we made some example about the living things. So, we can also use this for material thing, mono. For example, The thing that we're going to use during the meeting is only this document. Thing is mono, mono. To use is tsukaimasu. So plain form is tsukau. Meeting is kaigi. So kaigi de tsukau mono. Kaigi de tsukau mono. This is a relative clause. It means the thing that we're going to use during the meeting. Document is shorui. Shorui. Only this document will be Kono shorui dake. Kaigi de tsukau mono wa kono shorui dake desu. Kaigi de tsukau mono wa kono shorui dake desu. So we can replace mono into no. Kaigi de tsukau no wa kono shorui dake desu. Kaigi de tsukau no wa kono shorui dake desu. No is used to turn clauses into nouns to describe when and where. Something happens and it often appears in sentence with other elements that indicate a certain time or a place, such as hi, dei, toki, when or moment, tokoro, place, or basho, another way to say place. So, for example, the day that we have meeting is Tuesday next week. Day is hi. He. There is a meeting will be kaigi ga arimasu. So plain form is kaigi ga aru. Kaigi ga aru hi. Kaigi ga aru hi. This is a relative clause. It means the day that we have a meeting. And then next Tuesday will be laishu no kayobi desu. Kaigi ga aru hi wa laishu no kayobi desu. Kaigi ga aru hi wa 来週の火曜日です。We can replace he into no. 会議があるのは来週の火曜日です。会議があるのは来週の火曜日です。Another example. The time that I become the most sleepiest during the day is around 2 p.m. Time is 時。時。To become sleepy is 眠くなります。眠くなります。The most is 一番。So, 一番眠くなるとき。一番眠くなるとき。This is the time that I become the most sleepy. During the day will be 一日の中で。Around 2 p.m. 午後2時ごろです。So, the full sentence is 一日の中で一番。眠くなるときは午後2時ごろです。Now we will change toki into no. 一日の中で一番眠くなるのは午後2時ごろです。一日の中で一番眠くなるのは午後2時ごろです。Let's replace a place into no. The place that he is working is near here. Place is tokoro or 場所 Working is 働いています So we will change this into plain form. 働いている And then inside the relative clause, we have to change the particle wa into ga. So it becomes 彼が働いているところ彼が働いているところ This is a relative clause. It means the place where he is working. Near here. ここの近く、ここの近く。彼が働いているところはここの近くです。So we will replace ところ into の
。彼が働いているのはここの近くです。彼が働いているのはここの近くです。So today we learned about nominalizer no, which can replace こと which is non-physical thing. もの material thing. 時 time. ところ place. 人 human. 動物 animals. 理由 reason. So meaning of nominalizer not change depending on the context because it acts like a placeholder for various words. So, this is all for today. Thank you very much for listening. I hope it was helpful for you. If you're interested in Japanese grammar, please check out my YouTube channel. The link is in the description box. I, have, I also have Facebook page and Instagram page, so please follow them as well. I will see you in the next episode. Arigatou gozaimashita. Bye bye.